Hi, Rafikis. Welcome back. Um, I'm walking up the stairs, getting into the kitchen. I'm expecting a friend who's coming over for, I don't know, it's not lunch, it's way after lunch, so, which is exactly why I decided to do this video. So she's had lunch, I can't feed her lunch, but I still need to feed her, right? Because that's what we do. People don't just come to your house and you don't give them anything to eat. So I thought I was going to make like a cheese platter and I thought I'll share with you guys how I make that, the process that I go through. Some of the things that I use, but I wanted it to be less formal than my normal videos. My normal videos are usually do this, step one, step two, you get what I mean? So I wanted it to be like a vlog kind of thing. I'm just waiting for her to get here. She usually sent a text message that she's on her way. And then if I get her permission, I'll also show you how she looks like and what she thinks about the platter. So I'm going to do a cheese platter, cheese board. And hopefully she likes that. It's just something easy that she can nibble on. It also saves me from having to cook. Ooh. I'm not in the mood to cook today, so I'm gonna do that. Let me go get the stuff that I need from the fridge. So I need all the stuff. I need grapes. Uh, I need these nectarines. I need these strawberries. I think I'm gonna use some eggs in there as well. And I'm just gonna mix a whole bunch of stuff together and it usually comes out great, so that's really what I do. To use camembert, I bought this from Woolworths. It was... I think 50 bucks, $49.95, and this is my favorite cheese. I just love how creamy it is. So the idea is that you just remove it like uh, about an hour before you have to make use just so that the flavor can come in, to, can really heighten, to heighten the flavor. So you want to take this out of the fridge about an hour before you're about to, che um, to serve your cheese board. And then I've got Blue Rock. Okay, this is actually Blue Cheese, Blue Mole Cheese. So Blue Mole Cheese is my second favorite one. I always use this as well. These are the two cheeses that I'll normally use. So I've got this. Now, if I don't have an opportunity to get this up from the shops, then I've got this on standby. This is just a spread. It's also Blue Mole Cheese and it's a cheese spread and I like to use this if I haven't got an opportunity to pick this up from the shop and it works just as well so you've got your cheeses these are the two cheeses that I also use I've got something extra then I'll put that on but these are definitely the two that are always on my cheese board and then we've got tomatoes these are just cherry tomatoes I like to make use of those and uh, they're also nice ideal for snacking then I've got some strawberries I got these on sale at food lovers market yeah, Food Lovers Market, I think. I can't remember the price, but they're there. And then I've got grapes. These are actually Komani scripts. I'm just going to be borrowing some. I mostly just use this for garnishing, but of course you can also eat them. They just make the platter look nice. And then I've got my Ferrero Rocher. So basically with my cheese board, I try to mix uh, savouries with sweets, with fresh, and of course for the sweet tooth in me, I'll always have some chocolate on there, so this is my preferred brand for that. And then you've got your crackers, uh, of course. I've got cracker bread, this is my favorite cracker bread, so I like to make use of this, and then I'll also usually have just the normal crackers. I don't have those in stock, but I've got these, I was able to find these either rice crackers, I got these from Spam. I don't fancy them, they're not my favorite, but they'll have to do for now because I don't have the others type that I normally you make use of. Then I've got Pro Vita, whole wheat bread, and this is also just a good alternative. It's just good for adding texture to your board to have different types of crackers and wheat breads and all that. And then you've got, I've got my dried fruit. So this is a mixture. I also got this from Ulvis. I picked this up today. I like that they are so nicely, uh, so thinly sliced. They are bite-sized. And this is a mixture. I think this was about $53. I think it's a pretty good price because this stuff can get really expensive. So I got this from Woolworths and I opened it earlier to just give some of my guests some. But um, yeah, this is the combination and I really love the size. Uh, you don't end up wasting because sometimes if you use the other ones that are whole, someone eats it, they realize they're full and they don't complete it, then you waste it. And then I've got some game biltong. You must always have some biltong on there. Biltong, drovos, both, cabernosi. It's just to add now to the, to the savory the savory that you're trying to represent there on your cheese board and then i've got some olives i've got some black pitted olives over there and then i've got some oh these are my favorite uh, sun-dried tomatoes this is an olive oil i love this on a cracker you put some cheese on there you put a cracker on i uh, you put some cheese on your cracker you put uh, and then you put this on it's so lovely so nice and sweet i always have to have that and then i've got my fig jam so this i like to eat i put it on the cracker bread and then i put a slice of camembert cheese on and it always works so i bought this from spa i love this just normal fig jam fig jam can be quite expensive i remember i bought fig jam for i think 69 dollars in willies this other time and it was just 
impossible. And then some eggs. So these are eggs that we had for breakfast. I've got some leftovers. And I thought I'd just then also incorporate those into my cheese board. So I'm going to be using the word cheese platter and cheese board interchangeably, but I definitely mean the same thing. And then, of course, I'm going to place everything that I'm going to be making on here. So this is a cheese board that I purchased from Poetry. Remember I told you guys that Poetry has these really nice quirky kitchen accessories and it's quite affordable i think this is 200 bucks so i like that it's got marble here and then it's got wood and then i just wipe this off when i'm done with it with coconut oil so this is how i treat my wooden stuff my wooden accessories kitchen accessories i treat them with coconut oil so after you've used it you wash it lightly then you just treat it with the um, coconut oil to make sure that it 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 retains its natural oils and stuff so this is what i'm going to be placing everything on so let's get to it. So the idea basically with this is just put, to put everything together on the cheese board and to make it look pretty and then to enjoy. Let me uh, the first thing you want to do is of course to wash your veggies and your fruits. And I'm just going to wash mine here in the bowl and I'm using vinegar. Um, I'm just going to pop, drop everything in here. And the importance of vinegar is just to sanitize uh, everything you know I mean people use a lot of pesticides when they're making our fruit and our vegetables so it's important to just clean them with vinegar just for that added protection and I'm just going to dip everything in there to make sure that there's nothing on there that can compromise the integrity of my food so I'm going to drop everything in there and then I'm going to cut it into pieces and then place it on the board meat on this cheese board and then um, I found some ham in the fridge so I'm just going to take this ham and what you do is you just roll it up I like to roll mine up and then I'll just put a little toothpick in them and then I'll just place them on there so that they look pretty and you don't want it to be overwhelming I mean you could never put it just there like that so you just roll it up like this and then you sort of fold it and then you put the toothpick on so and then you just find a place for it so you see the colors we have on here, the idea is always to make it as colorful as possible, as pretty as possible. You want your people to be like, yes, you know, you must give them Cape Town wine tasting kind of vibes. And of course, you're going to pair it with, this, with the wine. I like to pair it with a white wine. So I'm going to pair it. Um, we're going to have some sparkling flavored grape juice. Sam, I hope that's okay with you. Yes. I've got these little, so these are little spoons, basically. It's one of those things that you have, like when you're serving canopies that you just... This. So I like to use this to just uh, hold some of the other items in that I don't want to uh, touch the other the other stuff on the cheese board. So I'm just putting my sun dried tomatoes in here, and then you just find a little place for it, and you just squeeze it there. And then remember the fig jam I was telling you about. So the fig jam, 
I'm going to take and I'm also just going to take a spoonful of it and then just put it into my little container like so and then again just find a little spot for it on the cheese box. So the last thing we need on here is olives and then we are done. I just put way too much water in here. So you just want to put them around. I think that should be enough. Is that all? We've got everything on here. There were some eggs. Do you want eggs? No? Okay. So Sama doesn't want eggs, so we're not going to put eggs on him. He's too bougie for eggs today. We've seen some. Uh, I think we're done. So maybe you can come and do it please, so that the people can see what we're going to be feasting on. That's how it looks like. So we're done. This is how it looks like. And my friend Salma, aka Mrs. B, is here. Mrs. B, okay. tell me what do you think about this? I want you to have a taste and then you must let me know what you think about it. Okay, dear friend, um, where do I even start? Mm. I'm gonna just, literally, I'm gonna start with the strawberry because this just looks like it's going to. Mm. Is it sweet? Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so pretty. And you know what? Mm -hmm. It's actually awakening my summer. Um, my, it's actually getting me into the summer. I like that. And it's also giving me this. This. Hey. This. Um. Paris. Hey, Miss <laughs> Bima. <laughs> Guys. I'm so pretty. The lady is starting to speak French because of this cheese board. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I'm so if, happy. If you call that, that French, 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 French. then. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, um, can I dig in? Yes, please. Let's dig in. All right. Let's enjoy it. Mm. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to go and have a good time and enjoy our cheese board. I'll see you in the next video. Say bye to everyone. Oh, sorry. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>